Hey, Sean Jantz here. I'm going to do a quick battle plan uh, for Wednesday, March 18th, and I'm going to do it on Slash ES, which is the S&P 500 and the other indices that you can find on Nadex. And I'm going to start here on Slash ES. And obviously, if you've been watching the last week and a half, we got the, 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 the most volatility I've ever seen in the market since I have been around. And so it makes it extremely difficult to make very clear and defined trade plans. You can be a seller, you can be a buyer in this market. The market's moving so freaking fast. You can pretty much do whatever you want to do. I just want to give a little bit of clarity and typically keep this short, but mostly just kind of speak to, um, just speak to your discipline and uh, speak to your patience and your emotions. So looking here at the slash ES, the four hour chart, clearly the market, just technically speaking, clearly it's building some sideways um, accumulation here. You know, obviously we talk, we've talked a lot about 2,400. I mean, it's huge. 2,400 right now, it is, that's it, right? This market so far does not want to sustain below 2,400. And if we do sustain below it, could we, we could be in trouble. The good news though, on the fundamental front is that the government, the feds, they're doing absolutely everything in their absolute power to not let this continue to keep going uh, any lower. We can, but on the flip side, we continue to get more and more negative, more cases from the virus. And this is going to, we're going to start, and, and this is still super early. So we haven't seen these headlines yet, but we're going to start getting some major, major headlines about businesses struggling like crazy, which, and then we're talking big business, small business, which could dramatically, really fundamentally, that could be like the, the dagger to get through 2400 when we really start seeing these huge headlines of businesses really struggling. Still are too early for, a biz, for those headlines, but they could be coming, so be prepared for that. Um, if you have 5, 10, 15, 20 year money, this is an amazing, amazing place uh, to get in on, you know, uh, build that portfolio. If you're in Trade Investor Club, I taught you how to build that asset allocation, how to build that portfolio based on your risk, based on your time horizon. And so I'm in, right? I've had a lot of money on the sidelines. And so I've added quite a bit. And even if it goes lower, like I said, I'm talking 5, 10, 15, 20 year money. This is it. This is a fantastic, fantastic place. And so obviously, just technically speaking, the market has a lot, a lot of room to skyrocket higher. It's kind of building, obviously, some supply here and demand here. So it's currently inside of this change control range. You can kind of see the range right here. Right. And so it's a range range. So uh, sorry, that's they're all look the same, but that's RTY. Um, so looking here, right, we do have a we have a, a kind of a range here, but just in terms of the last two days, we got range low. Sorry, range high range low. Very, 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 very clean. And so if the market continues to go lower. We do have some structure down here around the negative one where I can look for potential higher low buy triggers. If the market breaks 2350 tomorrow, uh, could be in trouble. And in trouble meaning I, I'm just, I'm not going to be trading down here. I'll let it go, whatever, right? Ozzy, if we're breaking that, we're, well, it's like, whoa, we need to take a step back. I'm not going to be rushing in for buy triggers. I'm just going to let it go and regroup. If we go higher tomorrow, obviously we have kind of a bigger round number, 2500 Wednesday and set for a potential to, uh, convergence back if you can catch it and then you start breaking through that 80% roll back up into that um, uh, all of that supply so there could be some opportunities for some breakouts if you can catch it I'm not naive though I get it it's hard to catch stuff and but the good news is when you do catch something you catch a great 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 higher low entry it's hundreds of dollars within minutes it's insane I just caught a scalp here off of 2400 it was really really simple Right, 2400 just 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 keeps on giving, and so I'm like I'm not gonna likely do anything the rest of the night on this, but I'll let the London session and then I'll regroup here first thing in the morning. The other indices are pretty much the exact same, so not much new to talk about. Big round number seven thousand there in MQ. Uh, YM big round number twenty thousand, kind of holding it so far. Obviously you got demand there. And then opportunities for 80% rolls to the upside. And then you have big round number 1,000 opportunities for 80% rolls. So there's opportunity everywhere. 
And like I said, it's extremely difficult to make a, you know, draw like I typically do. That's hard to do in this market, right? And so uh, you can be a seller, you can be a buyer, wait for change control, scalp, look for those TV brackets. If you're trading Nadex, I'm finding success just finding the brackets on the top of the bracket if I'm selling, bottom of the bracket if I'm buying. I'm trying to stick to around risk, risk one to make two. Sometimes it's risk one to make one, one, at least one and a half. And uh, that way you can have less than a 50% win ratio and you're still coming out ahead. And so if I were to say, don't over trade, stick to really, and you're going to miss a lot of shit. Okay. You're going to miss a lot of, you're going to miss a lot of stuff because I have been missing so many opportunities because price is just moving so fast. But the thing is, is that you miss it 30 minutes later, boom, I got another one, another one. So there, if you miss it, don't chase. There's always so, like, this is the craziest, fastest market I have ever seen. You miss an opportunity, don't chase, because there's another one coming within 5, 10, 15, 20 minutes. Don't forget, we also have deviations on the four major Forex pairs and deviations and value area on crude. I'm not going to trade crude. We're hit. I mean, this market's un unbelievable. I, I, I thought 30 was kind of going to be the line in the sand where that we're not getting through 30 and we have. And so I, I have no idea on crude oil. I can't give you anything. I don't know nothing. So, but the, the deviations are there because I know a lot of people like it and that's good for you. I'm not trying to sit here and say I'm an expert at crude oil because I'm not, uh, but I, we, I, I do it because we have so many people who like it. So make sure that you're taking pictures of all of your trades and so that you can post it in the Trader Tribe so you can get feedback from me and from others.